Wow, look at that. Just beautiful. Yeah, there's a smallie. Look at this fatty of a small mouth. I mean, that is just a fatty. Straight up football. That's why I love this river so much and you can't really ask for a better hook set. There you go, boys, look at that. Just a beautiful small mouth coming on the Bitsy Bug Jig. I mean, that thing is massive. This thing is the tail of a dragon. a largy? Well, I don't know. Wow. It's a small lady. Look at that. Oh, there we go. There you go, boys. Look at that. A little chunk of a small lady. He's got a stunted nose. But hey, that is a beautiful bass. That's why the bite felt kind of weird. He was trying to suck this whole thing in his mouth. Oh, there we go. Got it out. Slept in our blasted shed. First small lady of the day. Let's get a quick pick and we'll send them back. We're coasting down to this shoal here. Beautiful, small A. Appreciate you, buddy. Sprayed me with water. I did not even feel this fish eating. It literally just jumped when I started reeling. It's gonna jump again too. Yeah, look at that. Wow, just swam into me. There, boys. That is another little solid bass, little chunker. Look at that. Just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Coming on the chatter. Look at that, boys. Just a little solid chunk coming on the chatter bait. Appreciate you, big guy. You ready to go? Oh, yeah, he's ready. Nice. Seem to have a lot of birds out today, but a bird we don't normally see out on this river system, at least in this section, is a swan. And as you can see across from me, there's a beautifully elegant long neck over there. He's just chilling in one of the eddies back there. I think I might have spooked him by talking. He's starting to coast back downstream, but that was really cool to see. Swans are beautiful creatures. Don't mess with swans there. They're even more feisty than the cobra chickens, AKA the Canadian geese. Bigger, feistier, but absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. That's why I call this place the place that never skunks. Anytime you come to this river system, you're gonna see something extraordinary, something exceptional. And regardless of the fishing, it's just a beautiful, peaceful environment to find yourself in. It's truly hard to be mad when you're just being exposed to the true beauty of this river system. It's absolutely pristine here. There's a smallie. Wow, that's a pretty good one. Gotta keep from jumping and getting in this current. <coughs> oh, he's already in the current. He is already in the current. Yeah, stay down, buddy, stay down. Stay down and come over here to this eddy, please. Oh, this is why I prefer single hooks, especially in this river system. The current's so strong most of the time. And so are the smallies. 
if you can't keep up to him, you got to make sure they can't jump. Beautiful little small area right here. Oh, stop that, buddy. Wow, what a fatty. What a fatty. Man, I always like to stop and try this spot out. And for good reason. Look at this fatty of a smallmouth. I mean, that is just a fatty. Straight up football. That's why I love this river so much. And you can't really ask for a better hook set. Look at that. I mean, it is right in the mouth. He was actually stapled. He was hooked so well, he was stapled. But there you go, it comes right out. That is the flaccid shad. Chase Bait's flaccid shad on the back of the Berkeley slobber knocker. And just a little fatty. Have a small mouth. Unfortunately, he has pooped on me. I'm sorry I scared you that much, buddy. I was trying to be gentle with you. Let's get a look at the measurement on this fish here. I don't think he's going to be lap hog status. Too short, but definitely a fatty. 16 and a quarter. There you go. Just a beautiful smallmouth, though. Look at that. Picture perfect. Appreciate you, buddy. Off he goes. How cool. <laughs> Yep, that's another smallie. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at him digging. Wow. He's trying to find a rock to hide behind. Oh, he still is. Come over here, buddy. Please come up here. Don't jump, stay down, stay down, stay down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you just seeing in his little face he was gonna do it? Come up here, buddy. Yeah, that's another football smallie. Oh, look at that, boys. Yeah, buddy, that is another 15, probably 15 and three quarter inch right there. Just another football of a smallmouth. Literally, probably like the next three casts after catching that one. Probably caught the bigger one first and then the smaller guy. Is coming up for seconds. The big guys always have first dibs in the animal kingdom. And the small guys, they just gotta pick out what's left. Appreciate you, buddy. Off he goes. All right, let's get up this waterfall and get up here to east when we finally made it up here. Took a little break just to regen some energy. We're gonna chuck this bitsy bug jig out here in the creek channel on the way up. And we'll switch over to moving base once we get up here to the spillways. Jumping like crazy. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Please, please, please. Wow, that's why you gotta like single hooks, man. Oh, wow. Okay, third time's a charm. He actually spit it that time. But that's when this nice, peaceful day of chatterbait fishing turned into a rainy one and it would continue to rain on and off throughout the day. And unfortunately, this honey hole of mine wasn't producing very many bites. I was able to take refuge underneath this bridge until the rain passed over. And while we were waiting for the rain to clear, we were able to observe multiple baitfish schools passing by. It seemed they were looking for the same thing, hiding away underneath this bridge column from either the smallies or the rain. Either way, I decided to concede this day, at least at this spot, and decided to head back downstream. There we go, boys. He might have splashed us a few times. 
that's cool with me. Hey yo, boys, look at that. Just a beautiful smallmouth coming on the Bitsy Bug jig. First one on the jig today. Surprise! It took this long to catch one. Boy, that's actually a quality bass right there. Definitely a scorable bass in a tournament if you were to be fishing one of these. And a beautiful smallmouth. Look at the colorations on this fish. All right, let's see if she goes lap hog status. I think she's gonna be right under it, like 17 and a quarter. Actually 16, 16 and three quarter. Yep, pretty much 16 and three quarter on the dot. Look at that. Beautiful dark green smallmouth bass. Appreciate you, sweetheart. There you go. Oh my God. It's huge. Look at that, boys. Um, okay. He's kind of standing his ground now. Okay, I mean, he's just chilling right here. You can probably just see a silhouette right in this area. That circle down there is a giant shell. A huge snapping turtle. I mean, that thing is massive. I think it's the tail of a dragon. I'm not even kidding. That, that tail is probably nearly as long as the tip of my fingers to my elbow. Look at him, he's going up there in the shallows now. Look at that. That is a monster. Jeez. It's one of my biggest fears out here is to be waiting, going through all this grass and accidentally step on one of those. I always figured they were in here. I just never seen one, but now we've confirmed. Yeah, boy. Thought I was getting bites. I finally got this little football in. Look at that, boys. Beautiful day for the chatterbait. Pops right out. Look at that, boys. That's another taco. Appreciate you, buddy. Hey guys, Logan here, and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Fishing and chatterbait is one of the most effective tactics in spring, and it's certainly paid off for me before. So, if you guys enjoyed this chatterbait fishing video, then be sure to check out this video right here.